that you want to turn yourself sideways and you're directly in line with the spine and you're going to sound so close that you start to brush into that stronger, more stable leg and spin the back part away from your heart. Thumbs and fingers in. As you reach and soften your knees to step back, you're going to invite them back to lean onto you. So they are leaning into you. Okay? And then from here, I'm just going to move Daniel's hair so you can see, those three points down. We're going to come close with thumbs and fingers into the nape of the neck with the thumbs. And we're going to watch for their belly breath. We're going to deepen ours. And on an exhale, turn straight back, straight, rib core straight down. Inhale. We soften. Heel of hands to the nape of the neck. Fingers soft. Straight down. Inhale. Fingers turn back. Heels close to the neck. Exhale straight down. And guess what? We're going to do that three times. So I'm going to stop so you can do it. From here, I'm going to hold the back of the head like cuffing the occipital ridge and above the ear. And I'm going to use actually my leg to get my partner off of me as I lift a bit with the head. So it's lengthening the spine because they will have collapsed from here. Okay? I'm going to hold on so they know I'm here gently. And I'm going to come down and here we can do our little leg. Oh honey, tough day in the crash the one more time. Okay? We're just doing that pulse fingers squeezing. Okay? From here, we're going to come to brush to the elbow. And it's as if I'm inviting her to come to a slight forward fold, not a deep one with her hands. Some people won't go very far because of range of motion or flexibility anyways. Moving ahead just so you can see. And from here, I'm just going to do a gentle pulse. Now, they might be rocking forward. They might not go forward at all. And I'll show you that modification. But it's more so a gentle, subtle hip opening and rock up the spine. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a rock. And then, from here, we're going to come to brush and get them to sit back on up. And we can give a gentle squeeze one more time. I'm going to come to invite her, because she wouldn't know this is happening, but I want her to tuck her chin to her chest. I'm not going to push her head down. So instead, I'm going to let the fingers drape down, and I'm going to brush the back of the head so her chin comes down, so she doesn't overengage. I do a soft interlace, meaning I'm not the webbing of the fingers like such, but I'm going to be a soft interlace so that when I lift my elbows, I'm going to make a box by folding my elbows, which means I won't do muscular energy. We might try that. As I come to brush the hair out of the way, I come to the occipital ridge, and I clean out. And I clear. And they will be very happy if you do this for a long time, for the most part. We're going to come up and down the neck. I'm not going to do too much for the sake of you can practice. From here, watch. The thumbs are going to open to the divot below the occipital ridge as fingers wrap around. I gently first take the head back and then I take one inhale and I lift her and lengthen her spine one more time. And then from here, I'm going to come to the stand. And I'm going to slide under her elbows and I'm going to say, inhale, interlace your hands behind your head. So now I'm asking her, please help and engage. Some of you might know Utkatasana chair pose in yoga. That's somewhere where we're going. From here, my feet are my hips distance. I knock knee my knees in, thumbs and fingers together as I reach around to the middle of the arm and armpit. I lift up on an inhale. On an exhale, I press my knees in as I open. Now, Daniel's very flexible, so I might stay here, but otherwise, you get two more passes, and you might get more work. Inhale and exhale, and I can press the knees in, and I can bend the elbows and get a nice adjustment. I don't come out all the way in between sets, though. And then, one more. If you want, it feels quite nice. It's a lot of work for you. <laughs> as you come back, watch. I slide to the hands, I find that butterfly grip as I separate her hands. Get one more traction up. Shake out the hands. Drop them down. And I invite her off my knees. And then I'm going to come down one more time. And this time to um, a kneel. I'm just moving this out of the way. And because it's the, if you will, like the end, we can squeeze out one last time. But now we're going to do a bit of chopping. And from here, what this looks like is, if you were to bring your palms together, separate your pinky fingers a slight bit, 
elbows are lifted, they flick the wrist. So it's not full arm motion, but flicking. And we're gonna work those three points that you were just working. And then we're gonna work down your back toes that you were working. If you want, you can work the hip. You can come back up. And we'll do the other side. There's flicking, flicking, flicking. We're gonna go up to those three points. And then, if you want to do a little bit down the spine, it gets really soft. And we're just going to tap down, nice and soft. Make our way back up. And I can push down three times. Magic number. 